And now, Free Press Watch, a segment on Global Journalist where each week we bring you a rundown of major events affecting press freedom around the world. I'm Lainey Mullen. Today's news comes from the BBC, the Committee to Protect Journalists, and Reporters Without Borders. Last month in Iran, at least 10 journalists were jailed. The increase in arrests served to intimidate other journalists before parliamentary elections in March. Persian relatives of BBC staff have also been harassed and detained. This week in Ecuador, two journalists were found guilty of defamation and ordered to pay President Rafael Correa $1 million each. The journalists had published a book revealing that the president's brother held $600 million worth of state contracts. The contracts were canceled, but the president sued, continuing his pattern of using lawsuits to discourage critical journalists. In Russia, demonstrators are making an impact on mainstream media. Telev television stations NTV and Pirve Canal have started airing dissident voices, even at peak viewing times. Journalists, though, still face risks. Last week, the offices of an opposition party weekly were firebombed. No one was injured, but records and property were destroyed. Motivation for the early morning attack was not known. For more information on these and other events affecting press freedom around the world, please visit our website at globaljournalist.org. Thank you for joining us this week on Global Journalist. I'm Lainey Mullen. See you next week.